this is to demonstrate my USB card key software so you simply download the application it doesn't require any installation it's just the standard and executable so when we first launch the program we're presented with the information box that asks us to register a master card key as this is the first time the software has been run on this machine so just simply follow the on-screen steps so step one will be to remove the USB device that you wish to use as your card key and then click next step so if you've got a USB stick plugged in that you want to use unplug it and click next then it's going to ask us to insert the USB device that we used to use and we have to give it a few seconds to recognize the device and there you go it's seen it the device would be USB 2 GB 2 gigabytes um, that's the actual volume label so whatever your volume label is is what the information will be there the letter is the drive letter M stands for master as we are trying to register a master card key and the numbers after it is the serial number of the device now all we need to do is enter a four digit pin number that we want to use with this device in this case I'll just use one two three four we then confirm it and we click restart program now it's just telling us that the device has been successfully registered and to leave the USB stick inserted so when we restart the program it doesn't automatically lock click OK it's reloaded and it's fully operational we're now on the about USB card key page where it tells us the current version number of the software and the current USB stick that is insert, uh, inserted and that we are using as the master USB card key device Red X in the program will minimize it to the tray so it's still running in the background all we need to do is remove our USB stick and this computer will lock within a few seconds of removing it the mouse has been confined to the lockbox and also keys on the keyboard have been disabled such as start for the start menu control uh, and tab alt tab control escape alt escape so it prevents you from sort of trying to hotkey it your way out of the software so the only real physical way out of this would be to insert the USB device that was registered and enter a, a correct code or to do a control alt and delete and to physically log, o log off or shut down so after a few seconds of inactivity the program will go semi-transparent allows you to see through it and the desktop behind any open windows will be automatically minimized so that any work that was um, currently, currently in the process of doing won't be visible and also all the desktop icons uh, have been disabled and will be re-enabled once we go back to our desktop um, after we put our code in also if we did do control alt delete and try to start the task manager the software will realize that has been started it will terminate task manager and it will also lock the computer um, to the normal fashion of the London, uh, Windows lock screen so to unlock our computer we insert the USB card key that was registered on the system the window will then go solid give us a few seconds to read the device and then we have to enter the four digit pin number that we set earlier if we enter a wrong code we're presented with an error message and five incorrect pin codes will lock the system for 30 seconds no input is allowed once we enter our correct code the system will unlock all the icons will come back and any messages such as an invalid pin code or the system was locked um, again because someone tried to start the task manager will all be listed in the current session log this session log is not saved um, in this free edition in order to quit we simply click quick click the quit button and then enter our four digit pin number and the program will terminate thanks for watching cheers bye